Thank you for your invitation, Minister Temido. And thank you for organizing this conference on global health. Nelson Mandela used to say, I quote, in a globalized world, we are the keepers of our brothers and sisters, especially in the arena of health, end of quote. The corona pandemic has confirmed how right he was. We can only contain the virus by joining forces with our friends in other countries and continents. Otherwise, the virus will keep spreading and mutating. If we care about our own health, we must care for others too. Health diplomacy is now central to a modern European foreign policy. Since the early months of the pandemic, we have worked to shape a European approach to health diplomacy. And it is based on two pillars. First, team play. And second, we're in for a long haul. On the first point, instead of competing with others, Europe has chosen to build a global alliance. Almost one year ago, we joined forces with the WHO, with other governments and with charitable foundations. And together we created the ACT Accelerator, that is the global initiative to help all countries get access to tests, treatments and vaccines. And the best known building block of this initiative is COVAX. To end the pandemic, we will need billions of vaccines by the end of this year. And we need these vaccines to reach low and middle income countries too. And this can only be achieved through a multilateral initiative like COVAX. Team Europe has contributed 2.2 billion euros to COVAX. And we are glad that the US has now joined us too. COVAX is for all humankind. So everyone can donate and everyone can benefit from it. The second pillar of our approach to global health is being forward-looking. We need more than one-off donations. We must step up the world's capacity to produce vaccines, as well as our collective preparedness against health crisis. This kind of work begins here in Europe where we are working with pharmaceutical companies to step up vaccine production. And let us not forget that Europe today is the world's largest exporter of vaccines. We know we are in this together. Because we also know if only the people in Europe are vaccinated, this does not help much. Mutants from other countries and continents can easily destroy whatever progress we have made at any time. And that's why our commitment goes well beyond Europe's borders. We are exploring solutions to scale up the manufacturing capacity of vaccines inside Africa. And the next European budget will invest in the capacity of health systems all around the world. Making our partners more self-reliant is in Europe's interest too. And let us admit it, the world was not prepared for a global pandemic of this unprecedented scale. But we have acted. Last year, we went from hearing for the first time about COVID-19 to fast-tracking R&D. We expanded our testing capacity exponentially and managed to bring several vaccines to the market. And we did this in record time. This is remarkable. But we must now move from the ad hoc solutions of this year towards a sustainable system. And this will help us manage and prevent health crises in the future. This is exactly the goal of the Global Health Summit that I will co-host with Italy on May 21st. At this summit, we will agree on principles that can guide our future responses. And there are already some lessons the world learned from this pandemic. First, we shall commit to managing local health threats rapidly and in solidarity 
before they become global crises. Because cross-border health threats require cross-border cooperation. And second, we have to embed health in all policies in an evidence-based way. This means that all government departments, including finance, should be involved, as well as civil society and the private sector. And together, we must invest adequately in our preparedness, because this is money well spent. These principles have driven the European response to the pandemic, and I believe that we can build on the broadest coalition around this approach. This is how I see Europe's role in global health. We strongly believe in cooperation. We are coalition builders. We seek solutions that will stand the test of time and that leave no one behind. This is the European way to health diplomacy. And I wish you all a very fruitful conference and thank you for your attention.